This week on UWC Online. In action, the destructive force of the corn-fed beast, Bo Sawyer. Plus, the much-anticipated two out of three falls match as Sam Knight looks to settle his dispute once and for all with Cecil Cerveza. All that and more this week on UWC Online. Gentlemen, I'm Kyle James, backstage in the battle zone, and joining me at this time is Cecil Cerveza. Now, Cecil, you are in the main event tonight against Sam Knight in not a normal one fall match, but a two out of three falls match. What are your thoughts on that? My thoughts? Sam Knight, he's been getting really, really brave. Very brave. He thinks somehow that he can beat me. Sam Knight cannot beat me. Sam Knight is not in my league. Sam Knight is nowhere close. Wait, uh, but you said Sam Knight can't beat you. He has beaten you. He, he pinned you in the ring. One, two, three. That, that happened. That was a fluke. He got lucky. As you are getting scared right now, you know what it means to make me mad. He got lucky. Two out of three falls, that's two chances that I get to destroy him. Sam Knight is gonna learn tonight. You don't mess with Cecil Cerveza. When I told Sam Knight he didn't want these problems, I meant it. It's another episode of UWC Online. Eric Loy up in the crow's nest. Glad to be with you. We've got in the ring the corn-fed beast, Bo Sawyer, and he's up against the Lion of Judah, DC Justice. First time I've seen Mr. Justice in the ring. He's a big fella. Locks up right with Bo Sawyer, and Sawyer just backs him into the corner. And up, a little push on the break. Gets Justice's attention. Yeah, all right. You're gonna go that way. Let's do this. Tie up. Whoop. Working that arm. Back and forth. Tries to push him away. Hangs on and gets to the ropes. Does Bo Sawyer. And a paintbrush slap across the face. And him up. Body slam. Well, if you can respond to a paintbrush with a body slam, there you go. We've got lots of action for you on this UWC Online event. Jess is trying to get in there and nope. Sawyer uses the referee to his advantage and gets the drop on Justice. Now, oh, a big smack in that corner. And a kick to the knee and a kick to the midsection and Justice goes down. And you see the smash on the back of the tights of the corn-fed beast. And that's what Bo Sawyer does best. Sawyer again with a chop. And working him in the corner again now across that top rope. Down goes Justice. Who's the man, says Sawyer. And so far it's been Bo Sawyer. This matchup, a blow to the back. And another smack to the side of the face. And Justice fires back with a couple of shots to the gut. A kick. Oh, Sawyer picks a big man up and drops him. And it says, nope, come on, get up. Kicks him in the side. And elbow drop. One, two, no. Sawyer yells to the ref, count him. And I'm sure Sawyer will complain later he wasn't fast enough. Now kick to the side of the face. And after a, a little bit of an opening salvo, it's been all Sawyer so far in this match. Sawyer 
Rogers kind of looking for a direction to go. And I'm sure he would like to get back in that title picture. And breaking the eyes from behind. Almost a, actually looks more like a head vice. It is a vice. A head vice from behind. This is a submission hold. Now he's getting some pressure off of it by standing up and fires another left to the gut, a second left. And back to a claw-like hold and a vice again. Sawyer's a strong man, but it's very tough to do that on an opponent of that size. Now Justice comes off the ropes. Oh, look out. And down he goes. The big man gets him down. One, two, go! Does not stay down. That was my partner's old finisher. He says, well, that didn't work. Now Sawyer's going to have to come up with something else. Justice making his way slowly. Oop. And, whoa, swing and a miss. Justice off the ropes. Comes off. Picks him up again. Oh, straight down with a power slam. Does not cover. Now he covers. One, two. No, 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 that was very close. That little time he took may have cost him a win. He caught Sawyer off guard. Now Justice needs to get a little momentum going. It's gonna be pretty hard to one-shot Sawyer. Now a kick to the gut and a chop. And it went right to the side of the face. And it's Sawyer back again in control. Justice throwing into the corner. And here he comes in and nobody home. Bouncing off. Close line. Sawyer goes down. Comes into another one. Justice trying to get some soft momentum against the corn fed beast. Throws Sawyer into the corner, rushes in and gets the splash. Yeah, he is getting some momentum, but he's taking too long. You've got the big guy staggered. Take care of him. Oh, look at this. He's got him up. Standing fireman's carry. Sawyer fires out of it. Uppercut. Get his way out. <laughs> Sawyer trying to set up. Takes him down. And a quick cover. One. Oh, look at this. Look, he, he's gonna, he gets a submission hold. Works that elbow into a form of a Kimura into a submission. And that is it. Kicks his man out. That's the first I've seen of that from Bo Sawyer. A couple of new moves from him. And that's all his opponents need is for Bo Sawyer to find a couple of new moves. You like cheese. You like being a man. That's why you like machismo. Real cheese for real men. Now in a handy aluminum dispenser. Wednesday nights after Lucha Underground. Tune in to UPTV6 for a full hour of pro wrestling in Central Illinois, starting off with the nosebleed seats, presenting action from across the region, news and interviews, followed by UWC Online with weekly episodic wrestling from Georgetown. That's the NBS TV at 10 p.m., followed by UWC Online at 10.30 p.m. UWC Online, the next challenger for Harker Dirge is Spencer Wallace. Well, between he and I, you've got two people with entirely different ideologies, different outlooks on life, different way of being. Where I'm out having a good time meeting the people and enjoying everybody's company, Spencer Wallace is dwelling in the bottom of his mother's basement, being nothing but a pasty face, pudgy belly creep. Spencer. Listen to me right now and listen good. I'm gonna be real sporting about this. I'll get in the ring with you and I'll spot you your best hold. You grab hold and take it. But if I see the light of day, if I get to my feet, if you allow me to come back on you, I will come back with a fiery vengeance, an explosion the likes of which you've never felt and the people have never seen from Harker Dirge. Hoo! Can you dig it? It's
it's Harker Dirge going up against Spencer Wallace. Harker Dirge looking fit as a fiddle, ready to go. Spencer Wallace looking like, well, he looks a little uncomfortable. And that looks like he's got a bit of a shiner as he goes in. That's not good. And now Harker Dirge goes, go behind, side headlock. Harker Dirge, the former UWC champion. Throwing into the ropes. Swing and a miss, comes up. Over block and down goes Wallace. Dirge to the ropes. Up and over. Good whoa! Scares Wallace right into the corner that time. Parker Dirge is feeling it tonight, and uh, well, I think uh, Mr. Wallace is feeling it too. UWC Online tapings Friday night at Georgetown. Stay tuned for updates. The next big card coming up in a well, several weeks from now. Wallace gets a shot in, a quick headbutt. He does look good. No, that's a forearm. And he gets the side headlock on Harker Dirge. Wallace has been improving each week. We'll see how he does against some of the quality of Dirge off the road. Oh, shoulder block that time sends Dirge down. Wallace pleased with himself there. Comes up, up and across. And, oh, he tries Dirge's own move against him. He gets his head smacked into the ring for the process. And walks right in. Oh, well. Uh, there's nothing in the rule book about that particular maneuver. And a left, left, third left jab. And the bionic elbow. And that one's for Mr. Runnels out there. One of the all time greats. Left us recently. And a little flip flop and fly beforehand. And now. Spencer Wallace doesn't get far enough away. Dirge gets hung to dry off that top rope. Wallace is going to try to take advantage of it as quickly as possible. Smart move. He lays in an elbow. And there he lands that headbutt. And there he lands another headbutt. And now he's making himself dizzy at the same time. Fires a right. Picks up Dirge. A nice slam. Lower back of Harker Dirge. Now, elbow drop and a cover. Look at this, one. And gets a two count. And one of these times, Spencer Wallace is gonna put it all together and come up with a major upset as a singles competitor. He's got some momentum going and he needs to stay on his man. A suplex coming, no. Block. And another block. Reversal and Russian leg sweep. And Wallace taken down on that one. He's feeling the burn on that particular maneuver. Dirge comes off the ropes. Leg drop. Knee drop. And a cover. One, two, no. Kicks his way out after two. Right to the back of the head. Dirge. Again, a chop to the top of the head that time. And in a bell ringer. And that'll take your equilibrium out right away. And solo right hand to the side of the head. Boots to the midsection now from Dirge. And Wallace may have the fight taken out of him at this point. Says, where should I send him? How about the far corner? Well, there he goes, head first. Down goes Wallace. And up to that second rope goes Dirge, bounce. And he meets the knees. Spencer Wallace knows that's a move of Dirge's. He likes to finish his opponents off. Does some homework. Now he lands. Winds up with a punch and lands an elbow. And catches Dirge for a quick two. Wallace is going to have a bigger game plan. That night he's going to go straight for the choke. Give Wallace credit. He's hanging in there with Harker Dirge. And he has certainly improved by leaps and bounds over the last several months. 
He's doing with UWC. Forearm to the back. Dirge goes down. And now a chin lock. Crowd getting behind Harker Dirge as they often do. We know from watching many, many Dirge matches that there's always a reserve. Somewhere there's that reserve. And if you wake him up, Dirge maybe trying to get to that rope. Trying to get away. No, back down again. No, look at this. Now he's changing into a bit of a sleeper. Uh, might be as no. Dirge trying to make his way back up. The more he gets, gets his knees under him, gets standing up, he takes that hold away from him. A couple of elbows and a punch to the gut, punch to the top of the head. Another one, a third. Wallace, whoa, ducks at that time. Gets the boot that time, up off the ropes, and a flying knee. And just pounding the top of the head at Wallace is Harker Dirge. And down he goes. I think that uh, Wallace may have awakened the sleeping giant. And now he's bearing the brunt of it, going into that top rope. Wallace gets the boot. And Dirge going up to the top. Whoa, look at this. Oh, a super DDT off that rope. That should be all, folks. One, two, and three. And Harker Dirge is your winner. Let's get a replay of that Super DDT. And there you see it landing straight up. And Harker Dirge victorious. Quite an effort by Spencer Wallace. But it's Harker Dirge who comes out on top. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Kyle James. Joined backstage at this time by Mr. Alex Castle. And Alex, you are in the six-man tag team matchup tonight, and what are your thoughts on that tremendous match? Well, obviously I'm in the ring with, you know, some tremendous competitors, right? Joey O'Reilly I've been in the ring with many times, and Tornado Jones I've been in the ring with many times, and they're both great athletes, and then there's kind of a, an unknown to me, Aaron Matthews. But, what do you mean? You, you wrestle? He's, un he's unknown. He's unknown. Like, I don't, I don't know anything about him. You, you wrestled Aaron Matthews last week. He responded to your open challenge. No, I don't, I don't think so. It, yeah, he he beat you. Are you, are you sure? Yeah. No, no. I, I, would, I would remember something. like I would remember that. For sure I would remember that. Yeah, but, you know, I, he's, like, he's a great athlete, I, I'm sure. So I'm excited to be in the ring with him also for the first time. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? First time ever. Oh, okay. I, I, don't, I don't think it is. It, it is. Uh, okay. Infinite power. Castle now getting into it with Reed. Now Reed pushes him off and he's gonna go away. He's being set up bad. Carrot can't help, he's out of it. Triple super kick, down he goes. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Kyle James, back here in the battle zone, and I am joined this time by Mr. Sam Knight. Good to see you, Kyle. How you doing? Good to see you. Good. Um, now, tonight you are in the main event in a two out of three falls match against Cecil Cerveza. And I spoke with Cecil earlier tonight about this, and he had some rather harsh words. He said that you beating him last time was a fluke. As expected. Uh, okay. Let's go back in time real quick. I remember about a year ago sitting in, those, in the same seats those fans were sitting in. I bought a ticket to the show, and I sat there and I saw Cecil standing in the middle of the ring with the UWC Heavyweight Championship raised over his head. And all I could keep telling myself was, that should be me. That should be me. I can do that. A year later, I beat him. So what does that tell you? Tonight, two out of three falls, three seconds. I'm going to be better than him. Twice. Just like they did in the old 
couple days to settle things up, and it's Sam Knight going up against Cecil Cerveza. Into the corner goes Cerveza. Knight flies in with the splash, and it's all night early in this one. You're going to have to be early and often. Close line sends down Cerveza. And into the corner goes Knight, and it's Cerveza with the chop. Ooh, Knight says, mm. And another one, a little better. Oh, look out. Oh! And if you find the first level of Cecil Cervais' skin and turn it in, you get a free ticket. Tosses him out of the corner. Now a little timeout. Can't get a timeout now. It's two out of three falls. Knight needs to get all over him. And he stands there and takes it. Knight a little too kind in that time. Oh, not that time. Clothesline takes him down and an elbow takes Cerveza down that time. End of the ropes goes Cerveza. Comes up and planted. Hit the back of his head and roll it out. Cerveza, and a count out, will count just as good as a fall. But Knight breaks the count, says get in here. Any fall is a fall. Oh, look at this. He belts him with a chair. He's got the chair in the ring. And, and he hits him with a chair and costs himself a fall. He costs himself a fall, so now he's down one nothing. And he evens it up. And he evens it up by getting the pinfall. So now it's one apiece. So a little strategy. I surveys it. Wait a second here, wait a second here. One, two, no, he does not get it. Rolls him again, two, and it kicks out. Knight's not going that easy. Knight crawls his way to the corner. Cerveza, actually some brilliant strategy. If the rules are going to be like that, take advantage of them. Now he's got all of the advantage. And it's one apiece. Cover, two, and a kick out. Cerveza, with the boot to the side of the head. He brings him up. Suplex coming. Yep. And gets him over. Cerveza has been all offense since that strategic move of bringing the chair out. Getting himself intentionally disqualified to lose a fall, but then getting a, a fall immediately to tie it up. So it's down to just one fall between the two. Trying a spinning to older figure four, and Knight kicks him off and outside. Now the problem with this strategy is you're also down a fall. And should you use, use a quick one, get disqualified, count it out, you lose the match. Chavesa brings him in and drives him into that ring apron. And takes out that leg, and that was a leg that was hurt. Sam Knight attacked not long ago and that leg taken out. He's been having all sorts of trouble with that knee. And that may be it. Knight hasn't moved much. And the count is up to three. And this strategy could work perfectly for Cerveza. Nope. Knight's up. Cerveza is going to bring him in. And drag him through. And down face first into the mat. That's not only concussive, that also hurts the neck. Now he's going to drag him to that post. Is he going to split him here? 
Oh, he's going to wrap that injured leg around the post. There you go. You can see where there's a, an extra pad on that leg, but that's not going to help when you're wrapping it around the backside like that. And you can see what Cerveza's strategy is this now. It is a figure four around the post. This, he's got a five count, he's got it on him. He's got a figure four around the post. He's got a five count. And that's gonna do some severe damage. And Sam Knight just pours out of the ring after that one. Cerveza able to get the hold on him and rolls back in. We'll see if Knight is able to get up for that one. Remember, it's one fall apiece already. And that kamikaze style attack with the chair by Cerveza may work to his advantage. Up to five, Knight makes it up to the ring apron. Rolls in, beats the count. Cerveza not worried by this at all. He goes right back at him and Knight can't hardly stand. Lands a couple of shots, misses that time and back to the knee goes Cerveza. And look at this, gonna work him into a half Boston Crab. This could be all. He's working more on the knee. The Boston Crab works more when it's applied a certain way, works more on the lower back. He's working directly on the knee here. And Knight, he's had been able to crawl a little bit, now sitting back on the haunches of Knight. He's not pulling back on it so much as working the knee, and now Knight able to crawl into the ropes. The Boston Crab, when it's applied and worked further back, makes it a little tougher to crawl. Now just kicking away at that injured left leg of Sam Knight. It doesn't look good for Knight at all right now. Just thrown into that corner by Cerveza. Cerveza, now a reversal into the corner. Cerveza lands back first. And in the elbow lands, Cerveza goes to that second rope, comes off, caught by Knight. Knight throws him into the corner, and back first. Knight still having trouble with that leg. Cerveza boots him away. Now Cerveza, he will go up on occasion. Looks like he's gonna try to do it now. This could be the end. No, taken out. Oh, ouch. He didn't land on that padded turnbuckle. He landed on the steel behind that turnbuckle. And now Knight's trying to climb up to that second rope. Oh, what's he gonna do here? Is it gonna be a suplex? Is it gonna be a superplex? Oh, this could be all. This could be all, and he lands it. He lands that superplex. But can he take advantage of it? Both wrestlers down. Knight still clutching that knee, and that back now injured for Cerveza. You can tell on his face. Knight trying to get his way to his, at least to his knees, to the ropes, something to break out, break that double count out. Both wrestlers making their way up. Cerveza fires, it's blocked. Knight fires, lands, blocked, lands. Knight with a little momentum. Now a kick to the lower midsection. Elbow to the side of the head, a second elbow. Knight pushes him off, gives momentum to Cerveza who lands a right and another couple of elbows. Now he's just pushed away and a kick to that leg. And again, more elbows to the side of the head, taking him down to one knee. Cerveza, feeling he's got it locked up. Whoa, misses. Landed! That could be it! Cover! One, two, three! He got him! Sam Knight gets the win! Two out of three falls. The strategy by Cerveza backfires, giving up the fall. He gets caught, and in the end, it's Sam Knight. Two falls to one, victorious over Cecil Cerveza. Cerveza out grabs a chair. Grabs a second chair. Now, come on, Cerveza. Cecil, that's it. You lost. You took it. You lost. And he says that's enough. 
Sam Knight's your winner, folks.